Hi guys, it is your girl Laura Finesse and I am back with another video. Uh, please excuse my voice and my lisp. I have my braces in and we just got to get through it. So if it sounds like I'm lisping everywhere and the words, a lot of S's, 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 it's because I got my braces in. So we just going to get through it. Um, but anyway, you know, the other day I had came through with a view from the bushes um, and I mentioned that there was another topic that I wanted to talk about. Now, I recorded all of that in one video. Um, and then when I posted, <clears throat> excuse me, when I posted a view from the bushes, um, I chopped that video up and I saved it as a separate video. But for whatever reason, I accidentally deleted it. And then I deleted my deleted deleted. So it's gone. Um, it was just a video about, I wanted to talk about a video I've seen on Instagram. And it was just basically about a white woman. And she was trying to tell this black man how in the white community or in a, for white women, having a black man doesn't mean anything as far as status for them. And he was trying to um, dispute what she was saying. But that's not even what I want to talk about today. Because that was a couple days ago and a lot has happened since then. So... What I want to talk about is something that happened in Chicago uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday. So here in Chicago, so first of all, this is about these crazy ass gas prices and just something that I've noticed that I kind of wanted to bring up. And I want to know, is this going on in y'all city too or is it just Chicago? Because what happened in Chicago with this free gas was nuts. So if you guys haven't heard about this, just to give you guys some background, uh, there's a politician businessman here in Chicago. His name is Willie Wilson. And he has attempted to run for the um, mayoral race here in Chicago, I think a couple of times. And he has lost um, every single time. I think the last time he ran, he was giving out $100 bills to people, um, just basically trying to get himself out there and so he always has a gimmick associated to um in my opinion associated to some type of campaigning he always has some type of gimmick so of course as you guys know uh once this war in ukraine and russia has started a lot of the gas prices have skyrocketed around america um, because there are like sanctions um, that Russia has put against the U.S. because the U.S. put some sanctions against Russia and so on and so forth. So anyway, gas is high. Side note, my car is in the shop. It'll be out in the shop in like the next week and a half. So I ain't had to buy no gas. So I haven't been filling it at the pump, but I've definitely heard everybody talking about it. So anyway, Willie Wilson put out a, you know, a blurb everywhere that he was donating $200,000 towards fuel. He picked like several different gas stations around the city of Chicago and there would be a $50 limit. First come, first serve. So that was, um, today is Friday. That was Wednesday. Wednesday, this was happening, Wednesday morning. So what happened? Well, it was a fucking, it was melee, apparently. Um, my friend, she went to one, she said there were cars, blocks and blocks and blocks wrapped around waiting for gas at the two gas stations she went past that were near her house. Um, my mom has to be at work at six and she mentioned that on her way to work, she saw people already lined up for gas at five something in the morning. Um, uh, there, had, there were fights at these gas stations from people um, trying to skip the line. There was a lot of chaos at these gas stations because uh, one of the gas stations on 95th, if you're familiar with Chicago, um, it has several entrances, right? So you have people coming in, trying to line up for the pumps, coming in at all different directions, and that caused chaos. So it was just basically, it was a circus event. It was a lot going on, and... Everybody was trying to get this free gas. Uh, the limit was 50. Oh, excuse me, my braces, y'all. The limit was $50, right? So everyone was trying to get this free gas. Now, 
what I saw, and I don't know if, if any other cities are doing this. You guys let me know in the comments. Is is your city, are they doing some type of like free gas around the city, like politicians or something or so, whoever, any type of incentive to give away free gas or something, let me know. I'd be interested to hear how that turned out because in Chicago, what this showed me is that a lot of people are fucked up. Um, meaning a lot of people are, are, they need a lot. They need money. And I didn't realize, like I said, my car has been in the shop. So I didn't realize how this, the prices at the gas pump were really impacting people. Um, there was a, um, there was a lady that they interviewed at the gas station who was like, you know, this is really helpful. I have kids that I have to drive back and forth to school and this is this is helping me i need this gas like thank you um now as i mentioned willie wilson always has like some gimmicks going on but i think this time he may actually get elected after this um i don't want to call it a stunt because a lot of people benefited so i don't want to even call it a stunt but i think he may actually get um elected um, if he if he decides to run again, which I'm sure he will, um, because he has shown that Chicago like people in Chicago are really fucked up, y'all like people are really um, bare, they're, they're at the poverty line. I almost wanted to say they're in poverty, but I feel like there's a small percentage of people who are if they are living in poverty, they probably don't have a vehicle. Right. So these are not even people, let's say, living below the poverty line, but more like middle class, working class people who I had no clue. Like the turnout in Chicago was nuts. I'll put in um, a link to a couple of the news stories in my description box just so that you guys can see how crazy it was at the gas pumps on Wednesday. Literally, people were lined up for hours and hours and hours for $50 worth of gas. Um, and like I said, it was first come first serve. So I'm sure there were a lot of people that didn't even get gas. You know what I mean? I like my little aqua. And the lime flavored is my favorite one. Um, but I, it just had me thinking like, man. And so what made me want to talk about this was yesterday my brother came over. Um, his dog passed away. And I had also been having a rough day and we were kind of commiserating and the news story popped up on the TV and we were just watching it. And it was just like, man, I'm saying I'm having a bad day, um, but I'm definitely blessed. He was saying he was having a bad day, but he's definitely blessed. I'm not even in a position where I would have, even if my car was not in the shop, I wouldn't have went to go get the free gas. Not that I wouldn't like free gas of course it wouldn't like free gas but i'm not in a position where i would even have to go through the hassle of of what the people that had to go through it to get the free gas like i said there were fist fights at the pumps there were people fighting Ugh, excuse me guys the braces i'm sorry there were people fighting at the pumps at the gas station like there were people um it was just chaos. There were, you know, there were people that were angry that didn't get gas. There were people that were frustrated because the lines were so long. I mean, it, it really was just like a lot of angst around the free gas. And while it was a good gesture, Willie Wilson has identified a huge issue in Chicago. And I know that right after the pandemic, right, we had a lot of people who were getting a lot of free money, right? We can say we don't like Trump. But Trump was definitely giving out a lot of free money and he was more um, he was more for America than a lot of other presidents. And on top of what had happened with the gas, I saw that Joe Biden sent like 13, 14 billion dollars to Ukraine aid. That's nuts to me. There are people, like I said, you just saw these people at the gas pumps. There are people in Chicago, in LA, in Detroit, um, in Miami, in Nashville. Like there are literally people everywhere who are hurting, who are living in poverty, who could benefit from 
um, what that money could do in their community, whether it be some type of incentive or a program for gas or um, what's the, there's a program here for, um, for your lights, um, uh, LAHI, it's, it's like an acronym, but basically it's a program for your utilities where you can have them pay your utility bill. Um, you know, your lights and your gas, if the bill is too high and you can't pay it. There are a lot of people that could have benefited from that money. And while we all, I won't say we all, while, while a lot of us did not like Donald Trump for the things that he was doing, he was definitely an asshole. There were a lot of things that he did that made sense for people here in America. He was definitely someone who was all about Americans, right? Um, mostly rich Americans. Uh, let's not like let's not get it twisted about who Donald Trump was as a person and as a president. But I can confidently say he was about helping America. He didn't give a shit about helping other countries, um, of course, for his political interests. But for the most part, those stimulus checks and the several rounds of the stimulus checks and all of that, that was for Americans. And I'm pretty sure that we probably could have got another round of stimulus, um, just like a back to work stimulus, right? Something like that. Or, you know, some type of initiative where people got more money, basically. And um, so I just, what I saw in Chicago with that gas and what I saw with Joe Biden sending money to Ukraine, I was just like, that's, that's fucked up, y'all. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what's going on in your city. Um, do you guys have any politicians or, um, rich people? Because by the way, Willie Wilson is rich. <laughs> He's a black man, by the way. Maybe I should have said this in the beginning, but well, maybe you guys knew from his name, right? Willie Wilson sound like somebody uncle and he looked like somebody uncle. Um, but he's a black businessman and he has money and for him to be giving his money to the community whether it be a ploy for, um, you know, for him to get elected or not, the people really took to it and the people were really appreciative of it. So I think if his motives are to get into office of some sort, but he's giving to people, if he were to keep that up when he got in office, he would be unstoppable and they'd probably assassinate him. And that's probably not <laughs> popular to say, but like, I'm a realist, like, People that want the, the betterment of um, the lower class, the middle class, they usually will assassinate those people, especially if they're black or come up with some type of scandal. But that's it. Look, that's another video. I ain't gonna need. That's another video for another day. Uh, but again, shout out to Willie Wilson. I respect what he did. And it, it really highlighted that a lot of people needed that. And so shout out to Willie Wilson for doing that uh, with the gas. I don't know if he'll do it again because it caused so much chaos in the city. The police were at certain uh, gas stations. Um, the gas station owners were putting up signs um, even today and yesterday like, look, the free gas is gone. Okay, there's no more free gas because people were still trying to get it or whatever. Um, so shout out to him. But let me know what's going on in you guys' this city. Has anyone done anything like that in your city? And... If so, what was the outcome? Was it chaos? Was it melee? What do you think the motivation was? And what do you think about Joe Biden giving that money to Ukraine? Because I'll, 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 I'll keep this quick. I was not okay with it because of what I saw those Ukrainians doing to those Africans. Um, let me tell you something. I've been to Europe. I actually lived in Europe uh, back in 2016. And so... For me, it, it was not, I didn't feel uncomfortable. And I traveled all over Europe. I, I was living there, but I, I was working. Um, I didn't have any instances or incidents, rather, uh, where people were being racist towards me. I didn't see it. I didn't feel it. I felt totally comfortable moving around, um, so on and so forth. So I'm pretty sure that prior to the war, maybe they did feel comfortable being in the Ukraine, but there are certain places in, in Europe that I wouldn't go. Um, and you can't, Ukraine, Russia, like they're just like certain places where I'm just like, I feel like I would feel uncomfortable. I would like to be in like a, 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 a European city where there is a, um, 
you know, a, 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 a large amount of black population, right? Um, but I, once Ukraine did that to those Africans and they weren't letting them cross, I saw one video of a boy who, he made it to Hungary, which that's where I was living at. I was living in Budapest. And um, y'all know I gotta say, it's not Budapest, it's Budapest. You know, just, just in case somebody asks you, that's the proper way to say it, okay? Um, but he made it all the way to Hungary and Hungary let him in. And I, I resonated with that because I lived in Hungary and the people there are very kind and very welcoming. But the fact that he had to go through so much to get out of Ukraine and they were forcing people back into Ukraine and not able to leave, it made zero sense to me. So for then Joe Biden to send money to help, not everyone is an asshole in Ukraine. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, had this been Donald Trump, Ukraine wouldn't have gotten any money. And well, Donald Trump probably would have sent some money to Russia, like low key, like let me help Russia out. But in any event, what do you guys think about that as well? What do you think about uh, President Joe Biden sending money to Ukraine? Um, and did you see how the Ukrainians were treating the Africans? And what do you think about that? So, all right, guys, I'm, I'm at 16 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But you know, um, I want to touch on topics like I'm really not into a lot of hot topics. I like more of like social injustices and social topics um, because our people, man, we're going through a lot out here. And um, I think we get caught up a lot in a lot of celebrity gossip and blogs. And I think that's our getaway. That's fine. But I also like to, you know, start conversations about like real shit that's going on. Because at the end of the day, when all this shit stops, the real shit is what we're going to have to deal with. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. It is your girl, Lauren Finesse. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As I always say, it is free 99. It's free 99. You can subscribe, and guess what? It won't cost you a thing. All right, guys, so I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I do have... I do have a story time that I'm probably going to come back with. Um, next I'll see week. you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.